Okay, but the main thing, and this is interesting, we've just done some research on this, where we teachers who are working the best with inclusion, who really were producing the best results, what was number one they said was the most important thing? Partnerships with parents. Isn't that lovely? Number two, coll collaboration with colleagues. Then you get into the aides and people like me wandering around your classroom, etc. Yeah. <clears throat> so basically we're trying to build these partnerships um, between the te all the people in the in the situation. We're trying to and we can do that by helping out. Um, maybe joining the uh, canteen crew. There's a whole range of strategies we can do that. I'm going to just have to go through quickly stuff. But this is one of the major ways that we actually do is praise. Are you all susceptible to flattery? Do any of you feel overappreciated? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're all susceptible, aren't we? Now, they, we quite often say, oh, yeah, terrific job you did there. That's nice, teachers like that. But you write, and that's a total, I've, no teachers have got a letter the, teacher wrote ten, uh, the parent wrote 10 years before. They love that. <clears throat> My actual letter, much, much better than um, that. Even if it's handwritten, even more powerful. Um, yeah, so you catch them being good in writing, specifying what they did good, otherwise they won't know. Okay, but you write to their boss. So if the teacher's been good, you write to the principal. What's the principal going to do? He's going to trot down. Look at this lovely letter about you. Where's the letter going to go? Probably on the teacher's personal file. Is that powerful? You bet it is. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, you know, if the principal's good, you write to the regional director or whatever your equivalent is over here. You know, if the, if the uh, department's doing good, you write to the minister, you write to the press, you, you're always trying to get them good and it makes it harder for them to back out. See, once you've actually got them in there, it's much harder to, to back out. <clears throat> and you've got brownie points, so that when you do take them on later, you've actually got some runs on the board and you avoid being classed class as a whinger. Um, I'm just very aware that that's, that's <laughs> this is a huge area, isn't it? So I've sort of run out of time, but does that give you some ideas of where, where you might, might go?